assume she makes the same as out. Let's God. say she makes the same amount of money as you. And it's and still, it's still and it's entitled. Married. Still entitled. No, to not. Piece of your pension. What are you talking about? Well, no, she'll be entitled to a piece of your pension, but that will be in the state. All right, let's just talk about the state of Texas. The state of Texas, okay. everything you acquire within the marriage is half theirs. Half so I theirs. Get yeah. So 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 oh, that's yeah. a good contract for me. If the woman, no, if you, what what that's what I'm asking though. If you acquire all this stuff within a marriage with a woman that grinds out with you, you're gonna then say, all right, you're not gonna bust it all down the middle. You said I bust this part down the middle that I that we acquired, but I'm not gonna give you this part of also which it. Your retirement is also a part of her retirement. Okay, you know what you're doing. You're only staying on one side of the coin. No, well, it's both sides. If you are a man and you and you're building up, your retirement is supposed to take care of both of y'all, right? Your retirement, your four hundred one k is supposed to take supposed care of both to. of y'all. That's what yes. you've been building it up for. Marriage yeah. breaks down. Now, it ends. But yeah, but then that's the money part. So if we split. She's supposed to be nurturing me for the rest of my life, but she is not responsible for all. All her responsibilities are relinquished at that point. She gets to relinquish every bit of her responsibility. Anything. When I wanted my head in the morning, gone. When I wanted somebody to make me a sandwich, gone. Everything that she would have had to do, Hence gone. the reason why Klaus said. I still said, have to pay, but I still have to pay for it. the reason why Klaus you know said your ass better be shooting in a gym too. That's my point. As no, long as she's that doesn't with help. You, that doesn't, doesn't that doesn't help. That doesn't help. That doesn't help because and you build a 401k. Both of y'all got to split y'all 401k. Okay, so if she puts not, out, whatever money she makes, you gotta, money whatever money you make, you gotta split it. That's why you gotta be in the gym shooting. <laughs> but hey, you there? No, that didn't make your point, Sweeney. It no. made my point. That no, you should probably not tie is, yourselves up financially and, and do marriage. Go ahead and do your marriage. Go ahead and get your agreement prior no, to I, it. I Don't tie you, up your finances. No, you, if, is, when you if clean, I'm cl clean and clear too. What I ask is, is if both of y'all put the same shit in and y'all split up, there's no harm, no foul in splitting everything. That's nearly impossible. Shannon just gave the, the stats on it. Men are doing 97% of the alimony. So part women that, pretty much are not putting that, in the same that, thing. That's part of based on an old way to how people used to move. Marriage is not a good faith agreement. It has no percentage that. now then. Today, you, think, you think people, you think men are paying alimony in a situation where they're making literally damn near 5,000 apart? You're trying to find happen. an anomaly to your uh, speaking point. <laughs> Women, are, okay, fair. Women are hypergamous, right? I'm not talking about mm -hmm. a scenario in which the woman is hypergamous and she got a man that out earns her. I'm talking about a scenario. That's almost always. Well, how many? How many situations is? I mean, right, so there are some. That? <laughs> That's most marriages today. <laughs> <laughs> That's most marriages today. Most motherfuckers who get married today are both putting in. You can where are your stats? I put I pull up that chart. I think he puts them up. Some, I pull up he puts chart them up every single day. Every <laughs> single day. Wait, I've yet to see. Yeah, I know you leave your, your novels is like war and peace. I read them. Hold on. But I didn't see the stat where you said it was 50 50. Wait a minute. I pull up this chart every single week. We because you know for a fact it ain't 50 50 if she take you to to the courthouse. I'll chart every single week, week in and week out. Okay, is it 50 50? All right, guys, I got to call it a night. All right, good one. All right, clap. Don't deal with a gold digger. Deal with somebody that got the skin in the game. It's not that hard. <laughs> you really said that? Pause. Pause. <laughs> <laughs> like, I mean, <laughs> we sitting over here. Y'all want to? If, if you want, I will put it like this: If you want to go the route that Bruiser said, and y'all want to go this route, fair is fair. Then that's the risk you run of it. Okay, because you need so, the leverage. Because Trev actually said it. No, I think uh, Clout actually said it. That actually sets you up for weakness if you go in and say, "I have to do it all on my own before she comes in." You, that's literally the risk you run of marrying a woman that when you already have it, you're going to lose half your shit if it okay. doesn't work out. Look how you destroy your point. How, how many women from the beginning of this night, how many women are going to start with you if they don't see you already established like the first time? 
Let's um, find out. Ladies, how many of y'all? Let, let's just ask the chat. There's a bunch of women in the chat. Ladies, how many of y'all are going to take a man? They're going to hold on. Let me let, let me get out. They're going to. You had the Reverend Pastor, Mr. Slick, talking, and he says, a man that's financially, physically, and spiritually together. Now, that's when Clout jumped in and said, you know, some other stuff, but then he got to the point where, like, I want you, like you said, shooting in the gym with me. If a woman come and meet you today, suppose you had, like, something happen in your life, you lost your house, this, you starting from scratch, you got ambition, you're trying to build back up. And she meets you right there. How many women is like, oh, he's a project. You think they're going to mess with you if those standards that you put forth were set? If you're talking about a woman that comes in to a guy that makes $50,000 a year and she makes forty six, which is damn near the average for most of these people out here, I don't think we're going to see too many problems out of that situation. Because you just put a stat that favored what you're saying. Rather than what I just but gave. Most, that's what most people are doing. Most people. That's what most people are doing. We. Okay. The numbers, are, the numbers say, speak for themselves. Let's not say people. Let's say women. Most women are aiming for the 50. The guy that makes 50,000. Nowadays. And how much is she making? No, I'm asking you. That was my question. Most women are aiming high for the guy that makes the median which is 50 55,000. That's what most women are aiming for nowadays. Yes or no? I don't think most women have a choice. Mr. Statman, why you won't answer it? You put up a stat like that before. Cuz most of them don't have a choice. You know, you can make you know. You be you be disingenuous. Okay. Can you guys hear me? Yeah. Ain't no yeah, we can hear you. I just just come on, Sweeney. Okay. Come on, Sweeney. We spoke about this before. Sweeney, women, can aim, women can sit back and make demands to their face. Uh, the question here? was okay. I'm gonna ask Marcus. <laughs> Those women are aiming for guys that make fifty thousand a year. The average woman. Aiming, no. Will they settle for him? Yes. Okay, I I said aiming, so you could, yeah aiming no. Okay, thank you. So what does that prove? They still gotta they still fall in line somewhere. They can't get the dude out there because you can't get them. There ain't enough of them. Eventually, they have to fall in line and settle. And this is, goes back to okay. Let's get let's get it in order. Bruiser made a good point. Man needs to be established. That should be within that man. That to have a presentation for the woman that he's going to cleave to. Okay, got it. You made a case for, okay, these are the standards. She got to be in there shooting with the gym, shooting in the gym with you, which I agree in part. But the, the expectations of what you say is not realistic with the common woman today if you lined up 10. 